When a user goes to a particular project, in the overview page they will see the total number of releases, the number of releases in progress, number of test cases, executions, and the team members. The drop-down at the top left shows all of the releases in this given project, and Manage Releases on the top right shows you a list of all of the releases and allows you to create a new one using the plus button. So creating a new release from the radio button, and then if we click Continue, we can fill in the information around the release, including the linkage of information to JIRA, mapped to an external defect project, start end date, etc. To clone a new release, select that from the radio button, and then we can fill in all of the information around the project we want to clone from. We select a project here, and also we can select a release that we want to clone from that given project. Now below we can select the items we want to bring over, the test case repository attachments, top level cycle information, the requirements repository, any of the connected information around the mappings and the documents. Let's create the start date for the release. Now we can click on Clone. This allows you to reuse elements of another release in a completely different project. It also allows you to iteratively move forward by cloning a previous release like 1.1, cloned to create the basis of 1.2. The newly created release is listed in the project overview page at the bottom here, if we go to that. All of the applications on the left hand side will contain the relevant information we've cloned across. 